I am super excited today. Yes, I am because we have an exciting, exciting announcement. Yes, we do. And I think some of you guys are going to be super excited about it as well. But today we have to get out of the house early. We have an eight o'clock appointment to take our GI Jane, which is our G, in for servicing and repair because the visor broke. It's covered under warranty and they got the part in, so we've got to get down the road to get that done. I'm also going to make some tweaks to my pumpkin bread loaf. Yes, indeed. So come on, you guys. Let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody doing? It's supposed to be 100 degrees today in sunny Arizona. Yes, it is, but you guys, we have to get Arvita, not Arvita, GI Jane, which is our Jeep for those of you who are new. The uh, visor on the driver's side broke and we had to wait four weeks for the part to come in. So it's going to be, uh, we're taking her down and getting her done and also getting an oil change at the time. We have um, extended warranty on it, so it's all covered. But today is a regular keto carnivore day. Move your body. Yes, indeed. This is on our Scare the Weight Off October Challenge. Right there. We're back on track. Yes, we are. So we have to get out the door. Both people have already responded to me on the two giveaways, you guys, but... So the Keto Chow Surprise Box giveaway and my Perfect Keto Cereal Carnivore Keto Chow Box that I put together. You guys, I have an announcement to make. Yes, I do. Because we have yet another giveaway. And you guys have to stay tuned for that because I'm gonna go over the uh, contest rules and the explanation, but I am on a roll giving things away, you guys. So Christmas. stay tuned for that. That's right, things are coming close and- uh, The holidays. The holidays are coming and they're gonna be here as soon as you blink. But I'm also going to tweak my pumpkin bread recipe based on my friend Karen, who I trust. She is the baker, she is the cook. Yes, she is. She accidentally added the keto chow along with, when she was whipping her egg whites, she used the egg white protein powder with one raw egg white only. So I want to see, but she said it, it looks beautiful. It's on our Facebook group. Her bread looks beautiful. And I'm wondering if it tastes more like bread using the egg white protein powder versus using the raw egg whites. So I'm waiting to hear back from her with that, but it's a beautiful loaf. It did whip. So I'm going to add the keto chow in the beginning of mine. Any step that I can take to save time and effort and put stuff in in the beginning works well for me. So I'm going to make it a little bit different and we're going to come back and see the results you guys. How does that sound? Because Harry and I have been losing weight eating these sweet loaves that I've been making or my pound cakes that I'm calling them because that's what it reminds me of. We are losing weight so why not have that? It's absolutely delicious. Yes, it is. So we're going to get this day started. I do need to cook chicken later today, but we need to get out the door and get running. Yes, we do. So we'll see everybody in the next segment. Hey everybody, we are back from the car dealership and as usual, we sat in line. It took forever. We're going to insert that little blip right here. Hey everyone, we are at Chapman Dodge and Jeep. Our other visor, the visor on the driver's side broke and thank goodness it's covered on our extended warranty. So we had an appointment early this morning and we got down here and every Starbucks we passed had a line around the building. Oh yeah, because it's, it's 13, uh, 14 yeah. cars. When you leave at eight o'clock in the morning, don't expect to get coffee. So we're here at the dealership and they have free coffee. And it tastes free. <laughs> It's like free coffee. Anyway, you guys, I'm sitting here answering all of your comments this morning while I wait patiently to get the Jeep done. We're also going to get uh, oil change too because we drove it, you know, to Idaho, Washington, 
and all over the place and it's time. So anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment after I get Jane all the way. Well, that'll again. be about six hours. No, it won't. It better not be that long again. Last time we were here, seven hours. Mm -hmm. It was after two. We always try to get one first thing in the morning and of course the line was out the door. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna drink this coffee. I'm gonna sip it and I'm gonna answer your comments. Cheers, everybody. Harry was, we, we drove by every Starbucks we know of on the way, right? Straight down Indian School Road and the lines were out the door because that's the time of day everybody is going to work. So we didn't get a coffee. Uh, we had a cough, a free coffee at the dealership and it was like little. Uh, it's free coffee. It was very <laughs> acidy. It was very strong. Um, so he wanted to go to Joe's since it's a regular keto day. We did, so we're going to insert that right here. You guys, it's almost one o'clock and Harry was starving. We didn't even get coffee this morning, as you can see, when we went to the uh, Jeep dealership to get our visor replaced and an oil change. Got there at eight o'clock. Our appointment was at eight o'clock. Didn't get out of there. So we, Harry begged me to go to Joe's today. And I think today is a protein spray modified fast day. I've got two poached eggs basically right here. Harry's got a hamburger patty and two poached eggs, and we've got coffee. So anyway, you guys, you know, when things change, you gotta change and do what you need to do. But anyway, you guys, we're gonna eat, and we will come back in the next segment. But this is what I'm having today. Some eggs. Harry's having his beef patty and eggs, but they're poached. So that means no added oils, which is good. <laughs> I wasn't hungry, but Harry was, so I just had two poached eggs. Harry had his hamburger patty with poached eggs. But you guys, I want to make the pumpkin bread or the pumpkin loaf, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make it um, and I'll get the recipe to Kim and be able to have her post it. Yes, I will. But I want to tweak it like Karen did as far as adding the keto chow in the beginning to see if I get the stiff peaks that she did because it's nice to be able to add more stuff in one time right than having all these containers and adding them and so I'm very excited about that but I need Harry to open up my organic pumpkin pumpkin puree the pumpkin you want to use just says ingredients pumpkin the ingredients is pumpkin either the puree or pumpkin either way can you see, see the label can you see the front oh I'm sorry it can say pumpkin, but you do not want to get pumpkin pie because it has sugar and spices in it. So I'm going to get all this lined up. I'm going to go over it with everybody and let's see. And this time I'm going to cook it at 325. You need to cook it between 325 and 330 depending on your oven. That's the most important part. If you're using egg white protein powder only, you don't need to let it set in the oven as it's cooled down either. So I'm anxiously awaiting Karen's verdict on whether it's more bread texture or more pound cake heavier texture that I want to get when I'm doing my breads, my pumpkin loaf and my lemon loaf and, and my butterscotch um, pound cake. So we'll see. But you guys, let me get all this started. Got to get an apron. Don't want to get dirty. And we'll see you guys back in the next segment. Yes, indeed. Okay, everybody. The first thing I want to say is I am using keto chow pumpkin spice caramel. If you don't have, you can't get, you don't want to use this, then find your favorite high protein powder that is clean, that is either flavored in pumpkin or use a vanilla and then add pumpkin pie spice flavoring. I know Granberry Farms has pumpkin pie flavoring drops. We have a link for it down in the description below. Use Gremlin, you guys get a discount. And we love Rich who owns that company. And we wanna support small businesses. So I just wanted to share that ahead of time that I am using this. And based on what Karen said, she said she put it in the beginning with everything and she still got her egg whites stiff peaked. Now she did use powdered 
egg white protein powder. I'm going to use raw eggs and see if it does the same. I think part of it is because it's less than one gram of fat. There may not really be any fat in here, but they put it in. I'm not sure, but we're going to see. We're going to see. This is Wendy's crazy experiment in the kitchen. It's nice to be able to put more ingredients in at one time than to separate them and go from there. Another thing I was thinking is, why not put the butter and the sour cream and the egg yolk and the um, stevia drops and the brown sugar and all those things into the pumpkin puree and do that last as well. I don't know if I want to do that this time. I want to do one thing at a time to see if it fails or not. That's the best way to do it, right? Uh, reasonable deduction on right. that. So we're going to do this part first and I'm still going to do everything else. So we are going to need one half cup of pumpkin, pure pumpkin, and I have that in here already. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice pumpkin pie spice and I am going to add three tablespoons full of my brown sugar substitute and the one that I have I bought on Amazon and I bought the uh, golden monk fruit sweetener is the one I bought I bought this. So I'm gonna put three tablespoons of this into, I think there's a spoon in here already. Yes, there is. Into my pumpkin with the spice. One. Two. Three. There you go, there you have it. You can use Swerve, you can use Erythritol, you can use any of the brown sugar or golden sugar that you can find that's sugar free, no sugar added. Just make sure that you are counting, you know, your carbs in that. If it's, um, some people say that you have no uh, carb effect at all to your body when using like allulose, etc. So just use your own best judgment your macros populate it all in there to figure out what you're getting per slice depending on how big you slice it and which products you use it's going to change your macros so basically I just put this in my pumpkin so this has the brown sugar the pumpkin spice seasoning and my pumpkin in it over in this bowl right here I have one tablespoon melted cooled butter, one egg yolk, and I put the other, the egg white in with my egg whites, one tablespoon of sour cream in here. So now I'm gonna add to that my vanilla. And if you have, uh, if you're just using a vanilla protein powder, this is where you would want to put your pumpkin spice flavoring drops. Any of your drops, I would just put them in here because they're going to go in last. This is like your liquids here, right? My vanilla. Where'd the little topping thing go? Yes, indeed. I put in a teaspoon of my Better Stevia English Toffee Drops. I love these. Any of the liquids, use about a teaspoon full. Remember, egg yolks, egg whites, just absorb the sweetness and the flavor. You want this to be a sweet bread, it's not gonna be over sweet. It's gonna taste just right. If you taste the raw batter, it may be too sweet to the taste, but trust me, once you um, cook it, it kind of nullifies and doles out the taste. So let me put this over here. And I just take a little whisk that Carrie and Irma sent to me. Yes, I do. And I just whip this all up. It's the butter and all the good stuff. I call this liquids. Next time I make it, I'm gonna mix it in with the pumpkin puree, but I don't wanna do that today because I just wanna do one thing different, which is adding keto chow to the front end before I 
mix my little pieces of, of cold uh, sour cream in there. So you just want to make sure it's beat pretty good. And I'm just going to set that aside. Now, in my bowl, I'm putting in my egg whites. And this is raw egg whites. It's my one raw egg white from my one where I separated the yolk. And then the rest of it is Sprouts store-bought egg whites. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of cream of tartar because I am making this with real egg whites. This helps... Um, stabilize your egg whites. So I'm going to put that in there. Excuse me, I need salt. Don't want to forget my salt. Now I like salt. Um, keto chow does have salt in it. So I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon for you who um, are sensitive to salt. If you're using unsalted butter, you might want to use a little bit more than less. So I'm doing about a half a teaspoon. But I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon, especially if you're using salted butter because you're adding salt to the mix. So um, for those of you who are super sensitive, you could even omit it, but I like it. So I'm keeping mine. Okay, I'm putting in a tablespoon of... When do you put the keto chow in? I'll tell you as I do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting in my... Um, First, I'm going to put in my allulose. And you put in two tablespoons of allulose. This is just granulated allulose. The allulose helps with the texture of the bread as well as browns the bread. So you do get a different texture when you use allulose, um, I think, anyway. Now I am going to add a um, tablespoon of beef gelatin. Sprinkle that all in there. I am going to put in one third cup of egg white protein powder. Someone asked me yesterday, if you don't have egg white protein powder, will it work without it? Now, I'm going to say yes. You're going to get more of a meringue uh, consistency or an angel food cake consistency. I don't know if you're going to get that pound cake consistency without it. Let me know, you know, um, what it tastes like. Um, but because you're changing it and I haven't done it, I can't say yay or nay to it, right? I don't... I don't press this down at all. I just put a cup in and um, level it out, put that in on top, and now I'm going to add the keto chow to this because hopefully with egg whites, raw egg whites, it works like it does with egg white protein powder. So we'll see. We'll see how it works and we'll go from there. Now I'm going to just take this off and whip it a little bit here to mix everything together. Oh man, that smells delicious. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Uh, oh, smell the know. pumpkin? Yep. God, it smells good, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that it's smells like a delicious. Kind of thing. So, now that I've got the keto chow in here, uh, we'll see if it works with real egg whites like it did with egg white protein powder. Let's put this in, let's get this up, and let's get this party started. Why did it do, why is it? Yes, it did this last time too. It's being finicky. So you guys, come back when we have, hopefully, stiff egg whites. I almost forgot. One dropper full into your mixture. Good. You get stiff peaks with it. It just doesn't fluff it up as much, but maybe that's a good thing. So I'm going to put it on low. I'm going to add my liquid mixture. Now I'm going to add my pumpkin. So it's got the pumpkin, 
the seasoning, the um, golden sugar in here. for 10 seconds on high and don't throw pumpkin everywhere like I just did. So now we're gonna take it out. Excuse me. Now you want to scrape the sides and get the pumpkin that you splashed everywhere like I did. This did not whip up hardly as well as when I don't add keto chow, but that was for the one that had the um, raw egg whites in it. So let's see how it turns out before we make a total decision, but it's way softer and it's not as fully Peaked. It did peak, but it didn't fluff it as much. So I'm going to wait and reserve my final judgment for when I bake it. It's more like cake batter. See how it pours totally different, right? It's more cake batter, which could be a good thing. That's what happened with me with my butterscotch in... Um, in our Vita that I did, and it was delicious. So, as long as it uh, doesn't come out styrofoamy, right? We want that flavor and that texture. So, I'm gonna push this down here, but it absolutely is a lot wetter and not as many peaks, which could give us that pound cake texture that I want for my loaf, right? Oops, I need a real quick. And I am gonna cook it at 325 for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna turn off my oven, not open the door, and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. So we will see. We will see. It's an experiment. Same ingredients, just put in a different way. So here we go. And you guys, we'll come back when I bring it out of the oven and I'll let you know, you know, how long I let it set, etc. But it's in the oven, it's ready to go, fingers crossed. It tastes as good as when I add the keto chow in after I have stiff peaks. Come back on the next segment. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's take a look. It's ready to come out. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, it looks kind of neat. You know what? That looks kind of cool. Huh? So come back to me real quick. It didn't whip up as high, but it looks more like the pound cake texture that I'm looking for. Right. And the proof is going to be in the pudding, or in this cake, the pound cake, when we take it out. So I cooked it at 325 for 30 minutes, turned off my oven, set the alarm for 20 minutes. So it's been sitting in the oven cooking 30, sitting 20. And I'm thinking I like that better. 330 in this oven, I think is a little too hot to let it sit afterwards and continue to cook. 
Our Vita is a different story. So I am saying to you, it depends on your oven. If it cooks more hot, it cooks more quickly, I would go with 325. If your oven is cooler and doesn't cook as fast, go with 330. But you're gonna have to figure that part out because of the difference in ovens, right? If you have a very professional grade oven and you are a chef or a cook and you've been doing this a long time, you're gonna be able to gauge yours better. So, um, Mine's electric, it takes a long time to cool down. So it's hotter longer. If it's gas, to me, gas is a quicker temperature change than electric, but that's just me. So let's put this over here. Ooh, that was stupid, Wendy. <laughs> Burn your fingers. Just, just, just do it. Okay. How does it feel? Feels very, this feels like soft, moist, heavy cake like my um, butterscotch cake did. Yeah. You know, and this is the one that I put in my keto chow uh, to, to beat. It, it, ooh, look at that. Mm. It beat. I know. It didn't get as fluffy, but it, I did get stiff peaks. But I like that pound cake, heavier, texture right heavy moist texture is what I'm looking for oh yeah Ooh, that's really hot mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to turn it over because it'll leave little marks in this see like mine did oh, yeah, in, the, like. in, the, in the camper. Yep. But I think I'm gonna like this texture better, you guys. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna let it cool for 30 minutes because it's very soft. So this is what it looks like. And this is with adding the keto chow to raw egg whites in the beginning. If you want it more bread-like, I would wait until you have, you know, if you want it taller, bread like then I wouldn't add it in the beginning and of course it's going to make a difference when we taste this to the texture and stuff and that's the main thing for me mm -mm -mm. man that smells good you guys but we'll come back in 30 minutes yes indeed I can't give you any pumpkin bread babies oh yeah I can give you a little pumpkin a little lick of pumpkin how's that you didn't like pumpkin when you were healing from your um, from your uh, surgery on your spine, but let me give you a little now and see if you like it. Let me get your little dish. Come over here. Now let's see if you like some pumpkin. It's good. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Try it. Oh, oh. she said no. Come here. Come here. Let's try it. Come on. She say, oh no, mommy, I didn't like it when I had it. You like that? Well, come here, right here. Come on. That's you can do. Come on, little one. There you go. This is good for you. No pumpkin. Here. Come here. I'll do it if you give it if you feed me. Oh, that's one spoiled puppy. Oh, you think so? Tastes so much better on a mommy's hand. So this bread is very dense. It's very soft. It, it looks delicious. I added the keto. Great. I added the keto chow with the raw egg whites and then whipped it. Now it fell very quickly before I got it in the pan, but I like the feel of this. It's heavy, pound cakey, heavy, soft. Let me get let me get the crust off. Oops, there's those stripes. I was worried about that, but I want to... Not that bad. I want to taste this. I it's like the other one, you don't even notice right. it because I, it's just like the coloring here, but the cake is there. And I agree with you. When, when we did the one, I want you yeah. to taste this, Harry. Right. I want you to give me uh, an idea. So okay. you need to take off one pair of your glasses. You got too many eyeballs on. Okay. 
How I look. Good. Now you've had the other pumpkin loaf that I made where I had real stiff peaks, then added the keto chow afterwards. So this one was keto chow with the egg whites. So I want you to take a piece. Yep. Same exact recipe, oh, just. God, it really smells. It really smells like pumpkin. It smells pumpkin. really good. Mm hmm. Go for it. Mmm. Moist. It's like pumpkin. And. Um, is it soft? Is it dry? Is no, it... it's soft. It's not. It's not dry at all. Like more it's like just cake. Perfect right now. Okay. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie. Okay, there you go. Sounds good to me. Here, no, you may not have one. Come on over here. It's my turn. My turn. Watch out, little Sally slaying on the rug right here. She's so cute. Okay. It is uh, more like a pound cake. It's it's denser but man that smells good. Doesn't it smell good? It's interesting in, you in, fried it. in the way you add it in as to how it's going to taste. I like this. This is just like my butterscotch one. Isn't it good? Mm. It's like really good pumpkin pie to me kind of. It is so moist but not wet, like undercooked. The texture is, to me, like pound cake. It's heavy like a pound cake. It, it's got the texture of it. I'm liking the, it's smaller loaf, right, denser. Yeah. But I'm liking the consist, and I yeah. love the crust like this. The crust is almost like a caramely. I'm sorry, right? but to me, it's begging for an icing. It's begging for an icing. Yeah. You can drizzle icing on it. You can make a cream cheese icing for it. But the nice thing about these sweetbreads that Harry and I have been eating is we've been able to lose weight. Yeah. They are low fat, really low carb, Unless you're like me, high like protein. So seriously, so much of it. the fat in it is literally an egg yolk and a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of sour cream for the whole loaf, okay? So it's a high protein. And you guys, I use, you can interchange and go gingerbread and instead of the pumpkin pie seasoning, put some, uh, if you can find gingerbread seasoning or just sprinkle some nutmeg, excuse me, some ginger and some cinnamon in it and you've got gingerbread the pumpkin in the gingerbread makes it just that that moist it just gives it more flavor it, it it's flavor packed this is flavor packed if you like pumpkin am, pie you're gonna like that you're gonna adore this oh, yeah. and if you change it with the keto chow and put cinnamon and some ginger in it instead, you're gonna love this too, because it's delicious. It really is delicious, you guys. So there you have it. You can put the keto, if you want it more higher up, more bread looking, you can add the keto chow after you have stiff peaks. If you like it, a, a nice, heavier pound cake that's soft in texture, right? But more condensed, put it in, at the beginning there's no problem either way i tend i like this way best i really do you yeah, guys so good i really do this is yeah. a heavy moist delicious full of flavor cake and it gets better the longer it sits the longer it ages tomorrow it's going to be really nice and oh, yeah. i love the chewiness of the uh, texture difference of the crust It'll be great to see if it makes it to, to tomorrow. Oh, it better make it to tomorrow. We gotta have something for tomorrow morning and coffee. We were depraved of our coffee today. Yes, we were. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share that with everybody. So here's the deal. I am so excited about. Let me go, Sally. No, you may not have any. Let me go grab my phone. 
I don't have my computer, so I'm gonna read this because I can't print out anything, but I, we are gonna go to Harry's computer and I'm gonna get a picture of it. I spoke with Willie at Keto Cracked. And I said, hey Willie, how would you like to do a giveaway for our viewers? And I said, you need to let me know, you know, where you ship to. And unfortunately, this giveaway, I'm going to get my puppy here because she just wants bread so bad. Um, he said he would love to do a giveaway. Plus, he's giving us a discount, a special discount in case you want to order, which I suggest you do for presents, for gifts, and for yourself for the upcoming holidays. But I am so excited about this giveaway. We're going to go to Harry's computer because Sally is just insistent about the bread. I want to show you a picture of what it's going to look like, and I want to read what you're going to be getting from Keto Crack because you guys are going to be amazed. Now, you need to be... You know, uh, you need to live in the United States of America for this one, and I apologize, but he's going to be shipping it. And it's fresh product that he ships in a package with some ice uh, packs, you know, dry ice packs in it. So you need to be prepared. Once you find out you won, you need to be prepared to get it and to open it right away because you don't want that to deteriorate. But I am so excited about this. Let's go to the computer and I'll share you guys because it's going to be fabulous. Yes, indeed. Look at this wonderful, beautifully packed, delicious keto cracked goodness. You guys, you are going to be, one lucky winner is going to get one box of white chocolate pumpkin spice, one box of Aloha caramel, one box of the pave, one box of truffles. You guys, this is a hundred dollar value and one lucky winner that lives in the united states of america is going to win this lovely and delicious the best keto candies confections you have ever had in your life as far as i'm concerned yes indeed so thank you willie for this are you guys excited are you ready to enter to win i'll tell you how in just a minute this is all going to be packed in a delicious and beautifully wrapped black box with that Tiffany blue bow on it for some lucky winner. And you guys, I have tried all of these flavors. We have done a review on all of these candies. And let me tell you, they are heaven. They are heaven. That's simply put, simply stated. So if you guys want a chance, if you live in the United States of America and you want a chance, she's just not going to give up on the, on the bread. On the bread, man. You guys need to type in the comment on this video only. Hashtag crack. K-R-A-C-K. -K. No spaces down in the comments below. We're gonna run this through. Let me look at my calendar now that I changed it. Thank you everybody for telling me. Today is the 10th. I think we're gonna run this through October 16th. We're gonna draw the winner on October 16th video for the winner of this. And then I'm, I'm gonna explain how you're gonna get that box from there. But down in the description below, we're gonna have a special discount and link for everybody because these make fabulous presents. Especially if you know somebody who's a type two diabetic, but they love their chocolate, they love their sweets. This, you can have this at a party, you can have this in a dessert. Some some uh, families that I know used to do a um, cookie exchange or a sweet exchange where each one would bake something different, bring it all together. This would be great gift for anybody, let me tell you. Sally, you're gonna have to stop. No, she, you guys, she's just not gonna let me not hold her. We, her baby buggy is in the back of the truck, so she's, she's getting very upset. Sorry, I apologize. So I am super duper excited about this. I love every single one of their chocolates. They are on par to the best. They're up there, you know, with the C's candy. They're up there with the Godiva. They are up there, absolutely, and their presentation is beautiful. 
So somebody's gonna win this. It needs to be hashtag crack. K R A C K. This video only. And you guys go check them out. Go down in the link below, click it out and check it out because they have other things now. They have the little cheesecakes, they got the little muffins, they got all kinds of deliciousness. Go check them out. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to share that and we will remind you every single day, but it's this video only and you need to live in the United States in order to get this. And it will be drop ship, fresh, right from Keto Crack to your doorstep if you're the lucky winner. Anyway, you guys, come back in the next segment. Hey everyone, Harry says the video is going long today. I'm cooking chicken. It's going to be the boneless, skinless chicken thighs for dinner. Yes, it is. I hope that you live in the United States and you're entering hashtag crack in order to win that delicious keto cracked, delicious gift box giveaway. We're going to try to bring more giveaways. Yes, we are. And it's all possible with the generosity that we have with our folks um, out there in the ketogenic sphere. Yes, indeed indeed and to our ace cool folks and and the like so be on be on the lookout for more absolutely anyway you guys we're going to close out so please remember to like subscribe ring that little bell give us a thumbs up we'll see you right here tomorrow sally would like to say goodbye finally dad because she thinks she's going to get some bread okay say oh good girl good girl yes you're like the little child who made cookies with mom and cannot wait to just devour them. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's exactly right. She's in here laying down, just hunting everything. Rolling around, trying she to be is. cute. Thank you. Know, you. Weird stuff. Okay, on your mark, check it. <laughs> Beef and liver sliders. Yes, indeed. You guys saw how picky she was with pumpkin. Not at all. Not with, with these. With, carnivore dog. Anyway, you guys, see everybody tomorrow.